Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the update error 0x8024A10A on Windows 10. Many users reported that this type of error completely shuts down the update process. This can be very frustrating and troublesome as it can cause loss of files or even a damaged operating system. Why is this happening? The causes can vary from antivirus interference with the update process, incorrect settings, or even conflicts with background processes and apps. So let's take a look in depth at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is disabling your antivirus. Some users reported that on some occasions third-party anti-malware software slowed down or even stops the Windows update process. Using an antivirus tool is important if you want to protect your PC from online threats, but sometimes your antivirus can interfere with your system and cause this error to occur. To fix the problem, it's advised to disable certain antivirus features and check if that helps. If that doesn't work, your next step would be to disable your antivirus altogether. And even if you decide to do that, you'll still be protected by Windows Defender, so you don't have to worry about your safety. Another great solution is performing the system file checker. Press the start button in the lower left corner and type in CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Then enter SFC slash scan now and press enter to run the system file checker scan, which might take about half an hour or longer. If the SFC scan was unsuccessful, you might want to try using a DISM scan instead. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner, then writing CMD. Then right click the command prompt and run as administrator. What you have to do now is type the following command and press enter. DISM slash online slash cleanup line image slash restore health. All you have to do then is wait until the scan is finished, restart your computer and try updating again. There's also another way of running the DISM scan and you can do that using the Windows installation media. You have to insert your Windows installation media then again you have to click the start button in the lower left corner, write CMD and access the command prompt as an administrator. In command prompt just type the following command and press enter. Be sure to replace the C repair source windows path of your DVD or USB. Usually the operation should last no more than 5 minutes. Once the DISM scan is finished, check if the problem is still there. You can also try starting your PC in the clean boot mode. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and writing msconfig. Then just click on system configuration or press enter. From system configuration, navigate to the services tab, check hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. Then navigate to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. Right click the first entry on the list, choose Disable from the menu. Do this for all entries on the list. Then return to System Configuration, click Apply and OK to save changes and restart your PC. Another useful solution is resetting Windows Update Components. If you have issues with this update error, the problem might be related to Windows Update Services. Sometimes issues with services can be resolved simply by restarting them. But there are multiple services related to Windows Update, so restarting them all by hand can be a time-consuming task. However, you can always create a Windows Update reset script that will reset all necessary services for you. The process is quite simple and you'll have your script ready in a matter of minutes. Once you create the script, just run it and the problem will be resolved. I will also post a link in the description below for more information on how to create a Windows Update Reset script. And another great solution is running Windows Update Troubleshooter. You can do that by pressing the start button in the lower left corner and writing Settings. Then click Settings. In the Settings tab, 
you can just select Update and Security. Then you can click the Troubleshoot from the left pane. Select Windows Update and click Run the Troubleshooter to launch it. Then you can go through the Windows Update Troubleshooter for potential fixes. Once the troubleshooter is finished, check if the problem is still there. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.